Today's video will be on mitral valve stenosis and insufficiency, management guidelines and surgical indications. Very high yield, so let's not waste more time and get started. The surgical indications for mitral regurgitation for your exams are as follows. So you need to repair or replace the valve, preferably try to repair it first, it's less invasive. If you have acute MR, if you have chronic mitral regurg with sign and symptoms, if you don't have sign and symptoms but your ejection fraction is less than 60% or the patient is again asymptomatic but their left ventricle and diastolic diameter is more than 40 millimeters, or if the patient is having a pulmonary hypertension as a uh, result of the mitral regurgitation with pulmonary artery pressure more than 50 millimeters of mercury and if the patient with MR is having new onset atrial fibrillation. We manage the patients with mitral stenosis with either percutaneous balloon valvotomy or with surgery. So let's see what are the indications for each one of these. We can perform percutaneous mitral balloon valvotomy in patients who meet the following criteria. They should be in NYHA functional class 2, 3 or 4 and their mitral valve area has to be less or equal than 1.5 cm square where the patients actually become symptomatic. If they are asymptomatic they should have pulmonary hypertension. The normal pulmonary artery pressure is 8 to 20 millimeters of mercury. So pulmonary hypertension is defined as pulmonary artery pressure more than 25 millimeters per mercury, that's right. Okay, so they should not have concomitant mitral regurg. They also should not have left atrial tromp. And their uh, leaflets has to have uh, favorable characteristics like pliable leaflets, minimal commissural fusion and minimal valvular or subvalvular calcification. Now, when do we perform surgery? We perform surgery, which includes repair or replacement of the valve. We prefer the, uh, to start to try out with repairment first because it's uh, less invasive. When there are contraindications to balloon valvotomy or you have tried the balloon valvotomy but it has failed and the patient also has to meet the following criteria. They should be symptomatic and they should be in NYHA functional class 3 to 4 and of course the mitral valve area again has to be less or equal than 1.5 square centimeters. This is the end of today's video. I really hope you liked it. If you want to receive notifications for our upcoming high yield USMLE videos, please subscribe and hit the bell button. Thank you very much for watching and see you on the next video.